Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Elise with Elise's Acrylic Pouring. Um, today I have a fun little, um, it's a little tulip, um, and it's a metal, so I thought, oh, that'd be great. That's actually perfect because of resining, and it's sometimes it's nice to have something that's super durable <laughs> when resining. So um, I was really excited when I saw this. I was like, oh, that'd be perfect. Um, I taped the back. I was just trying to get rid of some of that excess tape. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to be, I was inspired by Winter Storm and Nikki D. I will link both of their YouTube channels. They do these beautiful swipes with, um, you know, these tools. What they do is they just put the cell activator on first, then lay color and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. You like my sound effects too? <laughs> okay. So my base is going to be a really fun blue. It is, um, I think it's Carib Caribbean blue. Oh, Jamaican Bay by Sherwin Williams. Okay, I'm switching it up to something super bold. We're using a reflux rose from Amsterdam as a, as a cell activator. I might throw in a little bit of the of the purple, the blue violet, but we'll see. Okay, so this actually took me a long time to do, but I sped things up and cut some parts out because I made a mess of it. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a voiceover for this end part. So what I did is that's Twinkle by this little piggy, um, and I just put it down first so I would kind of have some interference base when you, I don't know, just as like an added feature in the background. Um, that first color I'm laying down is Sangria, also by this little pigment. And I'm trying to go for the minimal look. And of course, it didn't, I can't do minimal, obviously. This is a mess, you'll see. <laughs> and then that was, um, what, what was that? Fluorescent Violet <laughs> by Liquitex Basics. And then that one's I Love You Pink uh, by Primary Elements. And then this is Blue Violet by Amsterdam. And then I added Violet Sparkle by, um, color art, the bling it line, their interference line. And then the top color is uh, greenish blue by Amsterdam. And so here's that reflux rose. And it starts off good. <laughs> But I just, I do too much. But in the end, I fixed it. And, and it looks really, I think it's beautiful. But it was a lot of messing around. <laughs> I don't like to cut out the frames when you can see the cells developing. Because it's just like so satisfying to me. I just, I, that, I could look at that all day. Just videos of different um, paintings where their cell activators developing. <laughs> See? So satisfying. <laughs> but here I go, you know what I mean? And that time I actually added the colors on my palette knife. So what I do is I start with the cell activator and then I'll just layer some colors on top of it and then swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. But look at that's not minimal. <laughs> and then I just keep doing it and I keep doing it. <laughs> and I just made that one way worse than what it was. You know what I mean? It was actually pretty before. See? Stop messing with it, Elise. <laughs> And then I get mad and just throw the excess paint like off. Every I'm like, mm -mm, you're gone. Let's scrape this off. <laughs> I 
and that's another thing is if you're mad at your painting and you're trying to go for minimal just wipe it off scrape it off and just add the more of the base paint keep what you like get rid of what you don't <laughs> Because there was a lot of frames I cut out because I was like swiping and swiping and swiping and trying to get it to go like look good. And then I was like, what am I doing? Let's just get rid of it because it's making it worse. I just, I was, I had a mess on my hands. <laughs> and then what I do is I just like take my palette knife and just kind of go along the edge. <clears throat> There's nothing on the palette knife, just a, a naked palette knife. And then I just go around the edges. There I go again. But this one actually kind of turns out. <laughs> I try and fix um, that edge where there's a lot of cell activator. And once again, I make another mess out of it. <laughs> like, what was I thinking? What is that? That's awful. <laughs> so I go back in and <laughs> use the the blue base <laughs> it's kind of a cool technique you know the I can't believe that they just randomly thought oh well, let's just just use this as the you know what I mean as the uh the palette knife instead of making like the big swipes making little minimal swipes yeah Nikki D and um winter winter storm I think oh my gosh I just had a blank so I will link their YouTube's accounts because they're just phenomenal and I'm sure there's more more artists that do this kind of this style with the palette knife but um I think those two were the ones that kind of came out with it and there it is I was super happy with it I was like whoa yay it finally turned out <laughs> I like right there how it looks kind of wispy. That purple, I'm moving too fast, but you'll see it here in a minute. See how you can see the twinkle underneath as just like an added accent? That's why I did that. You can see it underneath there. But look at that purple right there in the top left. How it's like kind of wispy. I don't know. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you like it or not. I think it's pretty fun. Um, very, very bright. <laughs> but it's springtime. Why not? So thank you guys for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, I would love your support and subscribing. And yeah, have a good rest of your week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.